Okay, so here we are today with Class Chondrichthys. This is an amazing group, right? And so uh, just because they have a cartilaginous skeleton does not mean that it's not hard. Okay, so this is a dried specimen, but still, this is not bone, this is cartilage, but still pretty darn durable and tough. And now look at those teeth. I want you to look at, wow, I'm not sure exactly what species of shark this is, Look at the teeth and look at how the layers of teeth go. Okay, so that these can easily be lost and then the new ones are right back there, ready to replace. And so they're gonna be replacing those teeth continually throughout their lifetime. And you see that they are just connected or attached uh, through collagen, coll <laughs> bleh, uh, collagenous fibers uh, to the dentin uh, or the dermis of the skin. Okay, so it's kind of cool. So that's the jaws of a shark. We have lots of different members. Here's a dried specimen it washed up on the beach. Uh, this looks like a thorny back skate. So skates and rays are also chondrichthys. You look at his mouth is very different, not the same kind of teeth. Over here I have the teeth of a bat ray. Look at that. Okay, so that's just so cool. And so it's the same thing, obviously a bigger animal and they go right in there. And so these are animals that are eating, this is gonna be a crushing, not really a chomping, ripping kind of tooth, right? But a crushing and grinding type of tooth. Very nice. All right, so we can see we still got gill slits, we have nostrils, we have all the same anatomy in this very different stingrays. This is a plastic stingray, uh, right? I don't wanna play with a stingray. Uh, very common on our beaches, we gotta be careful of stingrays because they have a venomous spine. And so if you step on them, they just zap you with that spine. Very painful. Not deadly, but you are very much in pain. You gotta sit and have your uh, foot or hand or whatever part of you have gotten stung in some warm water or hot water to neutralize that poison. They do have eyes. And so this one is accurate, even though it's a toy, showing where the gill slits are and the mouth is. Okay, so stingrays, bat rays, uh, here we have a rather large dried specimen. Uh, this is known as a guitar fish, right? Uh, but it's really a skate or uh, that same chondrichthys. These are going to be where the eyes are, okay? The spiracles right there. Really a fascinating and beautiful specimen. If you've ever been snorkeling La Jolla shores, you would see an animal like this. Now this has been painted, but they are this color in life. So again, we got the mouth, we have gill slits, really fun. So in the summertime when the water is warm, I really suggest you go out to La Jolla Shores and look for leopard sharks. They're not an aggressive shark at all. And look for guitar fish, very common. Another thing you can start to look for as you're combing the beaches, uh, these things, very strange, they would call them mermaids purses. Well, I'm not going to talk to you about mermaids, and these certainly aren't purses. What these are, these are egg cases. So we will see with the dogfish that the female holds on to her egg, so she's ovoviviparous. And if you're an animal that's oviparous, that means that you're an egg-laying animal, and some sharks are egg-laying. Uh, this happens to be the egg case of a horned shark, again, common off of our coast here in California, here in San Diego. And so it's somewhat common that if there's an egg that maybe there's, they attach to kelp and they are amazingly uh, same color as kelp. So they really are quite camouflaged in the water, but they do come unattached now and then, or if the egg isn't viable and you'll find them washed up on shore. Uh, again, this is, they can be quite large, like this big, and they shrink down when they dry. So this is a dried specimen that we have in the lab because we find them, okay? And so these are horn sharks. Oh, and then these, this one here, and then I, we have this one as well. This is from a swell shark. Okay, again, an egg case. Oh, here's another swell shark. Okay, really neat. It's often easy to find uh, fossilized shark teeth. That's what these are. Uh, because they're so numerous and they do have enamel and are hard, uh, they show up in the fossil record, semi-common uh, compared to fossils. So it's really quite a diverse group. The toy animals that we have actually do have all the anatomy. 
So if you have any toy sharks, check them out. See if they have all the fins, external anatomy. And have fun with it. All right, that's it.